Hey, it's Harry from PB Tech, and today we have a special guest. We have Lara from Using Technology Better. Hello. Hi. Hi, Harry. Sweet, and you've brought in something awesome to show us today. I have. Yeah. Okay, so this is another one of my favorites. This is the Makey Makey. It was developed by some students at MIT and has now become used in loads of places and schools around the world. So you've got spacebar and click, and then obviously the direction arrows as well. And then there's a whole lot more down here to connect to. So what you do with this is you make an electrical circuit using the alligator clips that come with the pack. So if you connect that to here and leave that one off and then maybe you have an earth and if you hold this in your hand and you connect with this to your PC, when you close the circuit, whatever application you're on on your computer, this will act as the spacebar. Cool. So when you close the circuit, spacebar. And you can operate it through lots of different objects. So if you hold that one and we high five, the current will run through us, complete the circuit, and whatever was on the computer will do the space bit. Perfect. If you flip it over here, you've actually got a whole lot more connectivity with this beautiful rainbow wire to connect in here so that you can use different keys on your keyboard. So there's cool video of this being used to create like a band with people. So when I high five you, Scratch, which we've talked about earlier, the programming online, will play a drum sound. Yes! You can also plug these in to anything that is a conductor of electricity. So really cool, obvious connections with electricity, making circuits, what's an insulator, what's a conductor. So banana keyboard, there's some cool videos of that and lessons for that. So you connect it to bananas or apples or whatever and play them like a keyboard. Again, a really cool way to engage kids and practice your computational thinking, but then also to take it further in designing, creating and innovating. And like with all of the tools we've looked at, it comes with some really good information online some good tutorials and ideas to get you started, but that's to get you started. And once you have that understanding, you can take it to make whatever you want. We're working on developing some lessons and designing some programs, and we do that through our workshops and working with schools of how to really get these embedded in what you're doing in your class and adding on to what you do. Always drawing it back to those key competencies and skills and um, the value. Thank you so much, Lara, for coming in and sharing your insightful knowledge. Where can we find out more? Our website is www.usingtechnologybetter.com. Uh, there you can find online courses that we provide, uh, online groups, as well as finding out if we've got any events in your region or connecting with us to do some PLD in your school. We're all accredited facilitators with the ministry, so we work with lots of schools in that way. Well, I hope heaps of you teachers, educators, jump on board. You've only got how long left till the new curriculum starts? Yeah, so 2020, the new curriculum is embedded across all the schools. So really cool to jump on board and grab that training now so that your schools and teachers are feeling confident, competent yep. and excited. Thank you so much for watching our video. Make sure you like and subscribe for more educational content and we'll catch you next time. Bye.